Hey guys, it's Kobe here. I just wanted to share a little something I learned on these calculators today. It'll work for both of them, um, as long as yours has an INS button. The layout might be a little different or in how you engage that button, but it's basically the same for most calculators. Now let's say if we wanted to edit this 96 and add in a zero at the end or something like that. If we were to add it right here, it would just replace the six, which that's no good. And if we were to add it over here, it would replace the multiplication sign. That's pretty annoying, right? Let's say if we have a really long equation and we don't want to retype it, it would mess you up pretty bad. Now, I'm going to do it over on this one just because I like this calculator a little bit more. Now, if we were to just highlight that, the multiplication sign right after the number, and then press INS, then we could add in a zero we want. And there we go, we could add as many as we want and edit the equation. Right in the middle of a very large equation, this can become really helpful.